All right, part two on this uh, Viper cam deal, hang loose. All right, so we got it in the grinder. Um, I went ahead because we need a true journal. I went ahead and uh, ground this journal so we can run the steady rest and I uh, touched up this journal just to try to get the uh, gauge set. So everything looks fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish, we'll finish this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then I'll move the steady rest to here and finish this one. And then we'll flip it over and finish the first journal. So. Here we go. Or maybe not. Uh oh. I gotta tighten up my, my driver. And that should be five to go right there, but we're gonna check it and make sure that <clears throat> our gauge is set right. Yep, that's exactly a dead on it. Measure that for a final. And that's dead on it. Dead on it. So we know the gauge is set good, so. so we'll just come over to the next one and we'll just keep going. Should be 10 more to go right there, but I'm gonna just confirm. Yep. And you see that it's out of round, that's because, you know, we just chunked it in the lathe and roughed them in. So obviously we're running on centers here and it's much more accurate than just roughing it in in the lathe. So that's why, and that total out of round ain't but about two or two and a half thousand. So it looks worse than it really is.
Perfect. All right, so now we're going to move the steady rest to this journal, and then we'll finish grinding this journal, and then all we'll have to do is flip it over and do the last journal, and we're done. Just making sure that we're on the right, right round on the gauge. So that is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to conclude it there. So I'm sure that all you fellas know how to polish. Well, it'll get a light polish. Uh, once it comes out, we're going to clean it up. We'll polish the journals and then that job's done. Now one thing that I, I, I want to point out again is luckily those lobes were small. If those lobes had been the correct size for that journal, then we wouldn't have been that well. We could have done that, but you wouldn't have been able to put it in the block because the journal, the lobe would have been taller than the journal. And then we'd have had to regrind all the lobes too. So, you know, some of that stuff can get, uh, uh, you know, just the labor involved doesn't make it worth it. But, you know, I think this was a reasonable cost to be able to salvage you know, a billet custom core to go back in a standard block. So, uh, so anyway, that'll sum up part two. Uh, again, I hope, you know, that was educational or, uh, entertaining one or the other. Uh, uh, they, we got some more goofy stuff like this coming up, uh, with some cam stuff, some journal. So I may do another one on some journals. If you want to see that, I got some small blocks. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.